welcome to uh, my video of the week. Uh, this is new for me, so come on over. Last week I did a video on how to set up your Square Up store. If you are a restaurant, um, retail space, bar, a, or a brewery, a winery, or anything like that that is suffering right now with the COVID-19 virus in getting your products in front of customers and getting them to order so you can either deliver, um, turning your employees into delivery people, or people can come in and pick up products. So I noticed there's a couple of big brands that are doing this, so I wanted to make it available to you all as small businesses. Now, one that I just recently um, noticed did it because I get their emails is Michael's, which is a craft store. So you can go online, pick out your items. It will tell you whether or not they're in stock and then you can add them to your cart they will uh, process your order the regular way and they have a curbside delivery so this is a great way if you're a restaurant to do the same thing where they're not coming into the restaurant they're not getting around other people but they're still able to use your product or service so think outside the box like how could you make this work for your business I've had some questions come in about the tutorial that I did last week which was all about how to set up your store on square for basically free there's some paid options you can can choose but you can do it for free and you can do it rather quickly so if you have menus that you need to put up there or you have specific products that you want to get online quickly so people can purchase them and you can keep money rolling in check out that tutorial I'll link to it below this video in the meantime I want to show you how to link your store to your current website so one of the mentions that I had in the previous video was that if you have a website now and you customize that domain for your store it will indeed erase your website bum, bum, bum. nobody wants that so to avoid that, um, I wanna show you one, how you can customize your link on Square so that you can have a somewhat customized link and you can remember it and it's not a bunch of numbers and gibberish. And then secondly, how to add that to your current website. So follow me over here and we're gonna do that in just a second. Okay, so when you log into your, screen, your um, Square dashboard, this is what it's gonna look like. You're going to um, have where we started last week over here you've got your items um, you've got orders and then you've got your online store so to get into your online store we're going to click on that and there is another way to get in here directly from um, Weebly but if you don't want to go into Weebly and line up uh, log in just to, so you don't have one more password you can just go right through your square uh, space so there's two ways to get to the area that we want to get to to customize our domain and we talked about this a little bit last week but i want to make it really really clear for you that you can customize without paying for a different domain and then you can add it to your regular website it's a little bit difficult if you have two domains to um, point all of those in the right direction so i'm going to recommend you do it this way number one you could go under website and general settings or you could click this um, if you haven't finished the setup guide you could, you could clicked connect domain however if you're already done with your site this is your setup guide this is probably gone so you'll want to you can always find where we're going wanting to get to under general settings once you click that um, and there are two general settings make sure you're under the one that's labeled website um, so that you're in the right spot and then you see right here your site address. This is where it's currently um, pointing to. And so if you have a site address that's like a bunch of weird numbers and, and letters, it's gonna be really hard for you to remember that if you wanna send people there directly. Now, I am not saying do not get a custom domain. If you don't have a website right now, you probably wanna get a custom domain and you would search for that right here. Um, so like, for example, if I wanted to search to see if this was available, um, I could do that and then it's gonna go look and look, it's available right there. I could get a Lisa's Cafe, select it, it's $12 a year. So that is an option. However, if you already have a website, um, and I'm just gonna bebop out of there because it's gonna keep spinning. Um, if you already have a site, you could use a domain you own. However, if you have a website set up with this domain, and a domain is what you label your website, so www.mysite.com, um, if you already have it, it will direct all of your traffic to your Square site, and your website will your previous website will appear that it is gone. It is not really gone, but it's gonna mess things up a little bit, so I do not recommend doing this if you already have a website. You could also, so right here is where we can customize what we want. This is a square subdomain for free. So if you don't wanna pay the $12, you can do this. And this is what I recommend if you already have a website on WordPress, Squarespace, uh, Wix, Weebly, wherever you might have it. 
Um, I notice that I just have this, I just have been adding weird domain names in here. So if I wanted to change this to um, menu, I'm gonna, Elisa's Cafe Menu. And it will automatically add .square.site. That's okay, because you're gonna remember. And so if you had a store, you could just call this um, my, my store dot square dot site and then it's going to tell me nope that's not available so maybe my craft store and it's not available so if it's not available that's going to tell you um, you need to change it to something that is available so for example what I would do is if you have a restaurant already I would do a Lisa's cafe menu and then you'll see that's available, okay? So now what? You're like, okay, well, that's great. I'm gonna hit use, oops, and it's gonna say I already, I already have that. So um, Lisa's Cafe menu, so once you close that out, if you click on this, it's gonna open a new window and you're gonna see, look, we have donuts. I totally don't sell donuts, but that's okay because now, you're gonna see uh, your store is showing up here. So how do we get this on our website? That's a really great question, I'm glad you asked. If you um, have a, uh if you have a website like WordPress. Now I have a fake fake website set up over here that I um, just have been building out for fun. What you would do is copy this and a great way to do that is you can right click and hit copy or you can hit Command C or Control C on, Command C on Mac, Control C on PC. And then you're gonna go over to your WordPress dashboard. Now, um, if you don't have to log into your WordPress dashboard, you may wanna give this to your IT people and have them do it, um, but I'm not gonna cover that today. But once you log in to your WordPress dashboard, if you're familiar with WordPress, this is gonna look familiar. And we're gonna go over to appearance and you're gonna see, oh, look, there's a little thing called menus right here. Right, and so where does that show up on our site? Well, let me show you the site right now, the way it's built out. You're gonna see, I don't really have a menu up here. Um, this is just a one page website, so it doesn't have a menu. Um, so how do we add a menu? Okay, so we're gonna go to appearance and then, like I said, menus, and we wanna add that store link. So I'm gonna call, and I don't have a menu set up in here. So first of all, this if you don't have a menu, you're gonna set it up this way. Um, and I'm just gonna call it main menu. And then you're gonna see once that menu is created, and if you have one created already, you're gonna see a menu option already showing up there. Um, and we'll just hit, uh, we want it to be a primary and footer menus, and I'll show you where those are in a minute. And then you're gonna see you have all of your pages over here created. Well, this isn't a page, it's a link. So how do we add it? Well, first let's add a page to our menu so you can see what that looks like. Now you see there's a page here. Um, to add the link that we want to link to, we're gonna hit custom links. But before we go there, I wanna show you one other place um, that we need to um, open up. Way up at the top here on the right hand side, you're gonna see something called screen options. You wanna click that and you want to click the one called link target. That's really important because what you're gonna to wanna to do is open this up in a new window um, so that your current website page also stays open. And the reason I say that is because even though you're sending them to the store, they may have other questions that are back on your main website and they don't know how to get back over there. And so um, make sure that's open and then I would just hit save really quick. I always hit save a million times because you, know, you don't want it to disappear. Um, and then we're gonna go under what's called custom links. Now this is where you're gonna put that URL that we copied from over here, this one. You're gonna put it under URL and then you're gonna, I'm gonna label this menu. And then once you add it to the menu, you're gonna see there it is. Now, when you open that up, we want to hit open link in a new tab. That's where the reason we have this option is because we turned it on with screen options. So once you hit save, you're going to see that. And then if we go over to this page, it should show us a menu. 
and there it is on the bottom. Now the reason it is not showing up on the top is because this page is specifically built to not have a menu on it. So, okay, so that's gonna look a little weird when you look at this video, but I went ahead and built out a new page just so you could see it really quick. And now you're gonna see here are my three menu options. When I hit menu, it's gonna open a new window and guess what? It's gonna take me right to my cafe. So the long and short of that is, is that um, you just add your link in there, make sure that you select um, that specific, um, that specific uh, screen option to, to have to add a link target. What a link target means is that you're wanting to enable the, the link that you're adding in there to open in a new window. That's all that means. And so once you have that set up, your menu is ready to go, your store is ready to go, and you can get to it right from your original website, um, which is right there. I've got so many tabs going, I don't know what I've got going on. So that's how you do it. And it would work the same way in any other, um, any other platform out there. So the other thing I wanted to show you was if you want to add your main website to your Squarespace um, or your uh, your Square Up store. So if you have another website, so maybe um, I have a friend that reached out to me about this specific question. So I'm um, answering this because I'm sure other people have it. But if you have a main website for your restaurant, for your food supply, for your craft store or whatever, how do you add that over here on this page? Well, let me show you how to do that very quickly too. Okay, so now we're going to pop over here and how do we add our regular website to our menu? Because here's our menu home reservations online ordering. Um, so if we didn't want reservations on here, we can also take that out. Um, so you're going to go to your um, regular page and then at the very bottom, you're going to see this little thing called navigation menu and you're going to want to hit edit. And what that does is bring up your, um, your current menu. So I don't want reservations on here right now because I'm not taking Taking reservations. So I'm going to hit these three dots and I'm going to remove that nav navigation link. And you're going to see now it's not there anymore, but I do want to add my website. So we're going to use this plus button and we're going to add a navigation link. And instead of linking to a standard page, we're going to select external link. And then we're going to paste our website, um, our website, um, our current website. So I'm going to just call this Elisa's cafe and that's going to link over to the website that I already have my mock website that I have built up and then of course open link in a new tab for the same reason that we did it um, the other way because if people are visiting our store we um, want them to be able to go back and forth without having to figure out where they were before we want to make it as easy as possible so once you hit save you're gonna see oh there it is um, and we're gonna hit publish and when we hit preview on this and we open it up, we are going to, oops, we're gonna hit preview and there you go. Now we have Elise's Cafe. When we click on it, it's gonna open up my regular website. So um, you've, got, you've got the way it looks over on this site over here which is your regular website and it can go back and forth to your menu. And then you've also got it over here um, on your Squarespace website. So online ordering, Elise's Cafe, and you can actually, if you wanted to, um, you can uh, move those around just uh, in case you were curious about that. And if you can't find that, you can just hit this uh, little page button right here and there's the navigation menu again. And you can actually drag these around. So if you wanted to say this one, you want it up here, you would just drag it until that blue line was right there, hit publish, and it's gonna move those around. And um, the only reason it keeps giving me this weird error is because um, I haven't set up all of the, the stuff in here because this is a made up site. So now you see it's this, this, and this. I would probably change the way this looks a little bit, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now because you can't see it very good with the donuts, but just things to keep in mind. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If it has, please subscribe to uh, my channel below. I'm just getting started with YouTube, so I love all my subscribers. And if you want more videos like this and wanna have questions answered, you can join me over on Facebook. The link will be below this video. In the meantime, have a great week. Stay well, take care, and I hope your business keeps thriving.